Hello. I'm gonna change the headlights on my uh, Volkswagen Jetta here. But I was getting a kick out of uh, watching Duke chase the chickens. Duke, what are they doing? What are those chickens doing? Are they pissing you off? Get them. Ah, camera shy. All right, opening the door to the shop and getting to work. Uh, filmed a video saying I was gonna, you can't see nothing in here right now, but I filmed a video saying that I was gonna change the fuel lines on this thing. I haven't had a chance yet. Well, the fuel lines I got, and I showed you in the video, were of course the wrong ones. I figured they would be. They look too, uh, too big, and they are. So, yeah, I started filming that one. So, as soon as I get the right lines, I'll put them in. In the meantime, uh, headlight change, 2006 Jetta, TDI. Hey, Mom. See the one headlights out. All right, let's pull this bad boy in. And let's get some light in here if this helps at all. Here we go with our uh, crappy tire brand everything in Canada. What we got here is uh, the Silver Star. I don't know what it means, but they last a long time, and that's what I care about. I don't care if they're white or frickin' yellow. I'm not that kind of guy. And let's see how much we paid for these bad boys. We paid $56.49 for two frickin' light bulbs. All right, let's get this hood popped and uh, start changing them out. So I just want to show you the... Uh, I got all the room in the world, but what do I do? I make it tight. I have no idea why I do this to myself, but I do. So let's just start by checking this out. We gotta bring in, take a look in here. What do we got? Oh, it looks like it's pretty easy. I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but you got this thing here. It looks like I'm just gonna be able to turn it. Oh, with little or no effort. Okay, let's take this out in the light. Don't need to tell you what that is. It's obvious. Now, let's see if I can uh, reach in here and pull out another goodie. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, because I need two hands, I'm going to take it out and put the new one in. And there we have it. Old bulb. Here's the socket twisty contacts if you know what I mean by that you put it in and you twist it and it makes contact chunk of plastic that would suck if you ever broke because how would you hold your bulb in place especially when they change the model design well a little bit about the car 240 some odd K 2006 Jetta TDI runs like a champ great fuel economy not as good as everyone says uh, never less than 850 never more than a thousand K on a tank 55 bucks Canadian ish. Uh, okay, let's rip open the new bulbs and see what's going on. First thing I notice is a blue ring on the old one. My new ones don't have that. I don't know if this is uh, the blue ring supposed to add some kind of custom blue glow or what have you. I don't know. I never put it in. And if I did, I didn't pick anything special. Yeah, these are H7 bulb Silver Star. I just wanted to point out that blue ring. I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on with that. But everything else looks like she's going to fit in and uh, be okay. Awesome. Got to love Canadian Tire's book. You just kind of guess, hope that it's right, and uh, buy the bulbs. And if you get the wrong ones, then uh, too bad. And like, really? Like, it's got to be childproof? Really? Like, why doesn't it just open? All right, I'm going to need tools. I end up needing tools, not for the installation, but for the frickin' packaging. Okay, well, let's just sit here and see what kind of disaster I have. Here we go with the uh, father-in-law safari and the, I uh, can't see nothing, and the, uh, the Westie. Frick, I want to drive it right now. If I knew the weather was this good, I wouldn't have put it in. I'd be driving it. Anyways, let's uh, get this son of a bitch open and uh, installed. Uh 
of that. If I did touch it, uh, well, too bad for me then. It doesn't say not to touch it, but I'm sure that greasy diesel finger is uh, Magoo here. Or McGee, I guess, is going to screw something up. Let's see if I can get an inside shot of that hole more for my own interest than anything, eh? What do you got there? See that little VW symbol? That's pretty cool. That's that thing, right? See it in the light? That's extreme close up, mind you. There you go, and I'm gonna go back in. See that little VW thing uh, there? Okay, is there any kind of uh, top? It's a top. Okay, I see the word there? This is uh, top. So I'm gonna assume that's the top. Then I'm gonna do one of these. Probably breathing like I'm the fattest kid in the world. Insert, turn, click, installed. All right, let's see the son of a bitch works. Duh. Oh yeah, you need, Volkswagen doesn't let you kill the battery, you gotta put your ignition on. There we go. And, I don't know if you can tell, probably not, I'm gonna put my finger on the flash, but one is a lot whiter than the other. Um, okay, I'll put Mr. Screwy back on. First of all, I'll shut off the battery where I kill my lights or my fuel pump because I hear something whistling there and I don't know why. What the hell's all that noise? You hear that? Huh. My other diesels don't do that. Here we go with this thing now. I'm a little guy, so I got. I don't have fat hands, it's not too bad for me. If you were a fatty magoo, that probably wouldn't be too cool, but that's so easy to go in and out. It's actually genius. At first I thought it was stupid, but the more I think about it and look at it, the more uh, it makes sense. And now this one, look at lots of room again. Well, I mean, lots of room and reason. I don't need to remove a headlight or anything stupid to, to change it out. And boom, click. And there she be, and she's blue as well. I'm interested to see if these new ones turn blue. Uh, I don't really care if I touch it, it's nice and warm. But I can sit on it. Mm. That's it. Put it there in the other one. Go over here to Mr. Rapper, which was just a freaking. Oh, there you go. I'll show you this one, I'm here. Father-in-law's working on this one, rubber toe. Roberto is uh, thinking about installing an uh, airtight in his fireplace, an airtight insert. Can't see nothing in this lighting, guys. I apologize, but my good camera's at home, and I'm at Roberto, so this is as good as it gets. Okay, back to work. I'll be back. Got to fight Mr. Rapper. One thing I uh, should point out is uh, that tab. I mean, it's only going to go one way unless you're a complete knucklehead and force it, which, you know, there's knuckleheads out there. But you see the tab, flat side, do you see what I'm saying? Flat tab. And, um, let's get it installed. Yeah, so that's the bulb installed correctly. You see how uh, there's that opening for that tab there? I was showing you when it was here, wrong, here, right. I don't know how you're going to pick that up. Uh, okay, thanks. That was absolutely the easiest headlight change I've ever done. Look at, not even dirt on my hands. Look at, look at, the motor's filthy, so uh, I didn't wash my hands. Probably got some dirt on the jacket more than anything. So, uh, yeah, way to go. Nice and easy. Germans do something right, eh? Let's see if we do this. Go for the checking. Oh, look at those bad boys. Look at those bad boys. Okay. So, headlights off. Ignition off. Just got to put this cap back on. 
Hear that thing going? I don't know what that is. Some kind of, I don't know what that's all about. If you guys know, go ahead and tell me. Dirty light bulbs. Dirty light bulb wrapper. And garbage. Yep. Bye. So, I'd like to try to show you guys a better view of my Audi rims. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let's see what I can do here. These are going to go on the van. Hold on, don't want to hit the father in law's car. BRB. Oh yeah, and my headlight light is out. Too dark, too bright. You can never win. Thanks for watching.